Russia tested a giant 22-ton drone or drone flight late last year. According to Russian state media, TASS the drone is a model for a sixth-generation jet fighter nicknamed Okhotnik, or Hunter. This unmanned aircraft conducted its first flight test on 3 August 2019. Quoted from Defense One, some time ago, Okhotnik has a size approximately like the US F-15 fighter jet which is designed to have a top speed of 372 km per hour. With a maximum range of 3,500 km, this drone has a payload of up to 2 tons. First of all, it must be manned and capable of carrying out combat tasks in an autonomous regime, a Russian industrial source told TASS. In this case, Okhotnik will be the prototype of a sixth-generation jet fighter, the source added that the firing of weapons would remain under the control of the pilot. In 2014, Air International described Hunter as Russia's main tactical flight program for the next decade after the completion of the fifth-generation Su-57 fighter. The Okhotnik design, sometimes referred to as the Suhoi S-70 Okhotnik, is based on aircraft schemes with composite materials and anti-radar stealth coatings, making drones difficult to detect by opposing radars. However, drones are much slower than the Su-57, which has a speed of 1,500 km per hour, so it is unclear how Okhotnik will prove to be prototype besides having a high degree of autonomy. It looks like Russia wants everything put into a new design at once, said Sam Bendit, a researcher at CNA Corporation, who is also a member of the CNA Autonomy and AI Center. Actually, they might have to compromise, choosing more realistic qualifications for new aircraft and, continued Bendit, but would be an expensive effort. And encourage Russian designers and the Ministry of Defense to be more selective in agreeing on the specifications of the final aircraft. However, some qualifications, such as standby options, autonomy and some forms of artificial intelligence might be included. Okhotnik has not flown and it takes time before it becomes an operational variant. However, this unmanned aerial vehicle and future Russian combat plans offer a glimpse into Moscow's thinking about future wars, whatever is in it, and in whatever form. Next-generation Russian fighter jets can include radio photon radars, new experimental sensors for microwave energy and optical lasers to find objects that would not be found by conventional radar. At least that is a picture of the Russian military. Radio photonic radar will be able to see beyond the radar that is in our estimation. And, when we irradiate the enemy in an unprecedented frequency range, we will know the position of the opponent with the highest accuracy," said Vladimir Mikheyev, an official at Russia Radio Electronic Technologies Group. Mikheyev said by describing the myriad of energy and electromagnetic weapons that were possible put into the plane. Additional elements of the aircraft will emerge from the Su-57, which debuted over Syria in the past two years.